This game was a complete embarrassment. Wes Unsell Jr. is bad for the sport. He's bad for the game of basketball. So we're going to start right here. Tyus Jones is in the gaps right here. Okay, first of all, your feet have got to be set so I can stunt and recover. Okay, not only is Tyus Jones' feet not set right there. Look at this. He's moving towards the ball in the kick out. Look at this little gamble right there. That's why your angle's off getting out to Tyrese Maxey right here, and you just gave up an open catch and shoot three. Jordan Poole's going to go double Joel Embiid. So as Jordan Poole's going to double, you can't just double out of thin air, okay? As he's going to double, Kyle Kuzma has to immediately rotate onto DeAnthony Melton. Then you're going to leave Tobias Harris at the top of the key. That's where Tyus Jones would end up rotating, okay? But if Jordan Poole goes to double and Kyle Kuzma stands, this is going to happen every single time. DeAnthony Melton to the rim, collapse the defense, open catch and shoot three for Maxey. We're going to see this about a hundred times tonight. Wes Unsell Jr. is bad for the game of basketball. He's terrible. Jordan Poole in the gaps. Feet have got to be set so I can get out. Look at Jordan Poole's feet going towards the ball as the pass is getting kicked out. You're not getting out. DeAnthony Melton, three. If you're Danilo Gallinari in transition, I'm still helping on the ball, but there's no reason for me to be in the paint. I'm up the line so I can get out to Embiid. I'm still there in help. But now Tobias Harris flips this to Embiid right here. Look at this. You're you're late getting out. So now you're going to be rushing to get out, bite on a pump fake, and Embiid's open. Wizards are in a zone. It's awful. Danilo Gallinari's taking the middle of the zone. Jordan Poole obviously is taking Patrick Beverly at the top of the zone. Obviously. How does this happen? What? So wh Jordan Poole, why are you coming down to take Embiid? Everybody else has their assignments in the zone, and they're doing it. But jo Jordan Poole comes out. That's where that's Gallinari's responsibility in the zone. So now we got two people taking the middle of the zone. They'll swing this to Beverly. That the zone's out of whack now. And look, everyone's open. Marcus Morris Jr.'s open. Uh, Kelly Oubre's open. Now Kyle Kuzma does not need to double here. I can be up the line if I'm halfway between the ball and the three-point line. I'll be able to dig in the post and then recover. But Kuzma wants to double here. You have to rotate. It's not optional. Jordan Poole's going to have to rotate onto Beverly. Kispert comes up. Kuzma will then come to the corner. Like, Kuzma's doubling. Look at this. Where's the rotation? It, it's it's got to happen. If you don't rotate and you double, you're giving up open threes. So, so this happens again. Patrick Baldwin Jr. Again, Wes Unsell Jr. is bad for the sport. He It's a strain on the game of basketball, him coaching. Patrick Baldwin Jr., I got to be up the line if I'm in the gaps. And again, my feet have got to be set so I can recover. Look at Patrick Baldwin's feet. You're going towards the ball on the kickout. You're not up the line where you're supposed to be. And it... transition here. If you're Jordan Poole, just get back. We're not going towards the ball across half court. It... Jordan Poole's going towards the ball. So instead of being back and being able to take Tobias Harris, this is a two-on-one for no reason. This is just awful all the way around. Jordan Poole's coming to double Joel Embiid right here. I got to close this space off. I cannot let Joel Embiid turn the corner on a double team. And then Tyus Jones obviously rotates up to Tyrese Maxey. But look at Jordan Poole. You let Embiid turn the corner. Uh, Tyrese Maxey's still got to be up. That changes nothing, okay? Bilal Koulibaly would have to enter the, the paint area, and then you're just going to leave the weak side corner. That would be where Kyle Kuzma would have to rotate to, okay? But you don't even rotate once. Like, you have ties, no, not even one rotation. Up, stop. Eh, this is trash. Again, this is Wes Unsell Jr. He's bad for the sport. This is bad for the game of basketball. You've got to ice this screen because now I have a Kyle Kuzma standing up in backside help, okay? That's where Joel Embiid's role has to be, too. You run your stupid idiot drop coverage. Look at this. You guard no one. Joel Embiid's wide open. Nicholas Batum's wide open in the corner. It's impressive how awful that defense is. So again, Mike Muscala is going to be late to get out on Joel Embiid. But when I close on Joel Embiid, I've got to force him into my help where Kyle Kuzma is. Look at how Mike Muscala closes. You're forcing him away from that help. There, I should not be biting on any jab step right here, okay? I'm just up and forcing him into Kyle Kuzma. He can do whatever he wants with the ball. But instead, you're forcing him away from that help. You fall backwards on the jab step, and Joel Embiid's open for three. Jordan pulls up on Joel Embiid at the top of the key. Obviously, I would want to force Joel Embiid to where my help is, but it doesn't matter. Tyus Jones is going to help Jordan Poole here. All he's got to do is still just slide his feet, show his hands ready to guard. Instead, what does Jordan Poole do? Come uphill to gamble right there. So now Joel Embiid's got you. It doesn't even matter what help is there because you're completely cooked right here. Right into the paint, too.
It's the same thing, this time with Tyus Jones. Mike Muscala is literally going to come double here. He's going to leave his man and double. So just show your hands. Slide your feet. You have help. Muscala is coming up to help you. But look at Tyus Jones. You got your hands. You're gambling on Joel Embiid. So that's going to allow him to easily spin off you, and you're just completely behind the play here. You're done. It doesn't even matter that a double's coming. Here it is again. Again, the wizard, this is offensive. Wes Unsell Jr. is bad for the sport. Kyle Kuzma's got to get up here. And Denny Abdi on the help. First of all, I want to be up the line, and my feet have got to be set so I can stunt and recover. Your feet aren't set. You're going towards the ball as this pass is getting kicked out. And that was this awful wizard zone. Why is Corey Kispert guarding air? You have someone in your area of the zone, the wing. Muscala's got to take the paint and Nicholas Batum. Jordan Poole's guarding the free throw line area of the zone and Tyus Jones is taking Tyrese Maxey. But Corey Kispert's guarding air. No, so now Tyus Jones has got to rotate over to take the ball and we have two people guarding Nicholas Batum. And Jordan Poole now can't guard the middle of the zone. He's got to worry about him beat and Tyrese Maxey. Like this zone is just terrible. Tyus Jones does a great job digging in the post right there. See how that dribble gets picked up? So Joel Embiid doesn't have his dribble alive. So if you're Mike Muscala, just get both your hands up. Joel Embiid has no place to go. Why in the world are my hands on Joel Embiid? He can't dribble anywhere. Look at Muscala. Why is your hand on Embiid? You're giving him space when there is none. You just... <laughs> this is very simple. It's a down screen. Jordan Poole's got to chase over the top, and Mike Muscala's got to get attached and show. You can't go up the gut. Jordan Poole goes up the gut. Now DeAnthony Melton's wide open. That draws a second defender and Embiid. Again, Bilal Koulibaly is not going to get up the line right here. Okay, again, I'm still in help, but I'm up the line, and it's I, now I can recover. And I'm, I want that dribble picked up way outside the free throw line anyways. So Bilal Koulibaly is playing way too far off in the gaps, so he's going to be late to get out. Now the Wizards execute an X out right here, and it's really good. Bilal Koulibaly is going to rotate to the corner. Kyle Kuzma is going to take the ball. But look at the weak side of the floor. Tyus Jones. I got to be seeing ball and man. Jordan Poole. Also not seeing ball and man. So obviously you get beat back door. This is unhealthy. Wes Unsell Jr. is bad for the game of basketball. Like really bad. All right, I could ice this screen, okay? And Muscala, we're going to force Kelly Oubre Jr. to the sidelines because there's no place for Embiid to roll to. Because Tobias Harris is standing in the paint, I could also hedge this screen. I mean, literally, there's Tobias Harris has got his defender standing and waiting for Joel Embiid to backside help. Instead, look at this ball screen defense. Look at this. This is bad for the game of basketball. Look at that. Look at that ball screen defense. That Again, dangerous for the game of basketball. So the Wizards do hedge here, but if you're Gallinari, you got to get up. You got to cut Patrick Beverly's dribble off at the point of the screen. I cannot let Patrick Beverly turn the corner on a hedge. There's Jordan Poole standing one step and he's in backside help. But again, you're not up enough. So now Patrick Beverly turns the corner and you're done. For the 800th time, Corey Kispert's in the gaps right here. Your feet have to be set. Look at Kispert's feet. You're going towards the ball again on the kickout pass. You're not going to be able to get out. Pump fake, open jumper. 